So last night we had the wildest storm come through. At first it was really nice because it was like uh, a little bit of rain, a little bit of thunder, a little bit of lightning at the time, which was nice. So it was nice at first, but then it ended up being really <laughs> intense. Those should be together. LOL. <laughs> point two lightning like struck like a power line near us and we had like the most like intense like blackout this time it was like electric pop and I literally thought that like when the lights turned back on you would like, see like smoke coming out of our outlets because it was really intense and then even like throughout the night I like heard like some wild things happening and little did I know that um basically our entire deck was like ruined so you know that was exciting but it's kind of interesting because I just feel like even though like it wasn't <laughs> the best way to see like a new season coming in, I feel like it kind of just feels indicative to this time that I'm feeling where like it just feels like a new season, just like in general, like with my life. Like um, I know I've kind of touched on in the past with like my mental health stuff, but I've been getting a lot of help and it kind of makes me feel like I'm at this place where it almost feels like New Year's to me, if that makes sense. Like it just feels like a new season, a fresh beginning. And I kind of like, want to like uproot everything and change everything rebrand myself just change everything about me um because I, I don't know i'm just like feeling like i need to do something like something new i'm actually gonna go get my hair dyed so i definitely had to think about this for a little while because i didn't want to make a rash decision and like changing my entire hair color and things like that but I've been wanting to do a funky hair color for a while but I feel like since I wear so many like funky colors it can be hard sometimes to like or like the thought of like actually wearing like a like having like a really intense color with my hair to match my other fits sounds kind of like a little too much for me because for a while I actually wanted to dye my hair like a pastel type color but one to do that to my hair would have been um would have just like completely destroyed it so that was off the table and then two i just think that like that kind of colorful palette would be too much with like the colors i already wear so i had to put that idea to rest but now what i'm actually gonna do is i'm going to dye my hair red because i feel like that's like the most natural looking i can get while also like doing something a little bit more funky um and i'm gonna go for more like a gingery copper color so this is kind of what i'm thinking is like this kind of vibe or I, I think i'm leaning more towards like gingery copper like this but if that's gonna be too difficult for me to do i think i'll do like something more like that um i also hold on let's look i also used the face tune app to like kind of see what i already look like with it and i'm like damn but yeah i'm really excited to go get my hair done like that i feel like it's exactly the type of change I need, a little bit of an edge. Let's go before I end up being late. I'm gonna tell her. Please. Um, come on, come on, come on. And then she's like, okay, and I look for You have to see if you, if you even like it. Yeah. Like if you even can't handle the face. Freaking good! I love it. I already had to go take some like little fit pics post salon because I just I can't get over how amazing this is. Um, we did go a little hold on. We did go a little bit uh, more saturated than my initial photos just because um, it's really easy for dyed hair to just kind of like um, like the color be washed away just a little bit more. But I am like. <laughs> I can't, I literally can't get over it. Ugh. I feel like I'm just gonna be admiring myself for the next forever, as long as I have red hair. I feel like it just suits me so well. Also, um, I don't know how many of y'all know, but my rising sign is Aries, and I feel like this is the ultimate Aries rising look, and I just, I feel so freaking good. Latte with egg milk. We got it. Hello? What do you need? Jasmine? And it's gonna be in that mug. Yes. Like, I don't think it's really.
really me just like cleaning all the time but I think that you know vlogging and my house just gives me incentive to finally clean it so I don't know maybe that's becoming like a little mini series here on my vlogs where it's just cleaning time with Jazz because apparently she forgets to do it until she finally records herself so you know welcome to my freshly organized room and um another pro of being able to clean my studio is to actually like find all these missing things that were in there like Matt and I have been trying to find like some phone chargers for ages and for ages as in like the past week but um I did find some packages that I forgot to um post about on my story so I went ahead and just did an unboxing off camera of some of the things that I found and um I did forget to record that for here so sorry about that but I just want to show y'all just a couple of things that I was gifted which are all from like sustainable small brands conscious brands like you know within that arena um so first I got this shirt which I actually swapped into because I got really hot in the sweater I was wearing um it's this little like souvenirs t-shirt let me see it's um their Stonehenge one uh never been a Stonehenge but hopefully wearing this shirt will help me manifest that <laughs> And each shirt, by the way, is made from surplus fabric, which is so sick. So, you know, we're over here upcycling some goods. Next is this gorgeous necklace I got. I've been, hold on, here we go. She's so cute. I bought this for myself as a little like present to myself about hitting 100K. And now that I have this in the camera, I feel like I'm kind of like matching it with like my orange hair and the blue shirt, you know. Kind of fun um but i've been wanting one of these necklaces for so long and i saw this one specifically and i've been really thinking about it and i just feel like it's going to be a really fun addition to a lot of my pieces and i just love the funky like glass like floral aspect of it and this little like unique rope chain very fun and then i got this stuff this is such a wild purse it's from room shop and she um upcycle so she like makes like a lot of different like scrunchies and purses and things like that and with that comes with like excess fabric and she she likes to dye a lot of her own fabrics as well too and she's just it's just a really fun shop but um she made these purses from scraps of other purses and scrunchies and all these other things that she makes and made them into these beautiful purses it's so funky i actually kind of like it with this outfit i'm wearing and then last but not least, I got PR from La Causa, which I love that. La Causa or La Causa? I think it's La Causa. I'm so sorry. I've literally been an affiliate with them for like ages and I really hope I'm saying it right. So if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but I love your stuff. Um, they make a ton of really awesome, like sustainable pieces and I just, I adore their clothing so much and I actually have a discount for them, but I promise I actually really, really love what I have. I'm not just saying it. But I feel like this is something that I've been really wanting as a staple piece in my wardrobe because I wear so many colorful pieces. Um, I feel like I need sometimes like more neutrals to balance out what I wear, which I'll be talking in another video soon. And then also got this green one shoulder top, which I think with this outfit as like as well it works. And then I feel like this like pale green, here we go. This pale green color with my red hair just like pops so well. Wow. It worked, yeah, it's like this like pistachio color with this. It's so cute. Hey besties, quick question. Do you know how to de-itch a sweater? Um, I just got this one secondhand, which is beautiful. And I don't know if it's cashmere or wool, but whenever I put it on, it's super, super itchy. So if you have any tips, let me know. My sweater's a rock. What did I do? here for a bit get a little suntan hopefully the heat doesn't do anything wrong to it but I just want to be able to wear you so I was able to dethaw this sweater which is great because I had a little bit of a panic attack earlier when I saw uh, how frozen all of this um, sweater was but I would say it's still pretty uncomfortable granted when I first put this on I literally like had it instantly take it off because it was so itchy like I literally felt like my skin was like on fire like it's which has never happened to me and I don't think I'm allergic to fibers now instead of being like a 10 like before it was like a 10 out of 10 like 
type of burning sensation and now it's like a six or seven now which is progress i was debating about wearing this to the zoo because we're gonna go to the zoo soon but i think it's just a little too hot to wear it out so going for a little sporty street this is not street but more of like a sporty gal type look i feel cute you <laughs> look like a little boy who was asked to say cheese. Nice stretching. Um, I feel like most people when they hear about zoos, they're really sus about them, as they should be, because it tends to be like tied to like exploitation of animals and they're not treated very fairly. But the San Diego Zoo is so phenomenal, it's amazing. It's actually world um it's actually known worldwide for being such an amazing zoo because not only is it gorgeous here and there's like such a variety of animals, but they also um, operate as a nonprofit slash like conservation. They act as conservation for these animals where they help like endangered species and also like rehabilitating like different animals. And they are also the front line of like research for healing different ecosystems and again, animals that are endangered. So. It's really amazing. It's funny because the, the way I found this out first was um, I was ordering like a popsicle and the popsicle was like five or six dollars and I was like, why is the popsicle like five or six dollars? And then the, and then um, the, the team that was behind the counter was like, oh, well, it costs this much because actually all the money goes back to the animals. And I was like, oh, like, give me two. And, um, <laughs> Uh, mohawk. Let's see the mohawk. I think right there is good. Now for the fun part. You'll have four chances to pose. So have fun. And make sure you look at the camera. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You guys excited? Oh, how cute! <laughs> <laughs> is it really tofu at this hour, though? <laughs> it is. That's, that's exactly how she is. She gets all antsy. <laughs> <laughs> Branch managers. <laughs> I honestly think the lemurs are my favorite. They're so cute. so crazy how far they can jump. They like to move and move it. Kidding, they're actually really terrified of this kid's dragon suit. <laughs> they're like chasing they're, around. Yeah, they're like following him. He's like down there now. Oh my god, that's really funny. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen him like that before. Oh, that one did to find that perfect Oh my gosh, so cute. Look how cool. Bomba. Those are so good. Sheesh. The lighting is really cool. Um, Halloween get, lighting. It is very Halloween. I feel like my hair plus the plus the funky lighting feels very Halloween. We get one of these every single time we come here. Oh my god. It's a layer of um, white chocolate. Dark is it just all white chocolate? It's just all white chocolate. And then it has like some like sorbet. I'm like show them off. Some sorbet like flavors in there. It's very yummy. If you like it a little fruity, a little bit of chocolatey. This is the perfect mix. I love it. Mm -hmm. God. Maybe we should go to No, we're good. Too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> oh. 